today's episode, we're going to be doing the all new 2015 Ford F-Series Ignition Lock. Uh, now this lock is coming in for late 2014 for 2015 model year. Um, and the first exercise we'll be doing is the, uh, again, the ignition, which is um, part number 7026865 for purposes of this um, video. Uh, it is an educational pack and I'll go through some of the components of this new Ford Ignition. Um, what we have is um, the typical repair kit setup, which I'll show you a couple of tumbler packs. This ignition is a 10 cut ignition and so it will utilize all 10 cuts and they're left and right tumblers so it's comprised of bags of tumblers one through five on a left hand and one through five on right hand tumblers and for the exercise we'll talk about specifics in a little bit um, there's also um, a cut key that we're going to work with that wouldn't come in something that you buy in terms of a repair kit from your distributor but in this case we have a cut key um, we have a cylinder um, we have a retainer ring a case um, the grease pack as what we always put in our repair kits uh, a cap and then an, and a small actuator and actuator retainer and those are the main components um, that will comprise the ignition repair kit for the new 2015 Ford truck for for the pinning in terms of the ignition you're using all 10 positions on this 10 cut key for the ignition and so when you look at this by stations on the cylinder station 1L is going to use a 4 left tumbler station 2R is going to use a 5 right tumbler station 3L is going to use a 4 left tumbler station 5, 4R is going to use a 2 right tumbler Station 5L is going to use a 2 left tumbler. Station 6R is going to use a 4 right tumbler. Station 7L is going to use a 3 left tumbler. Station 8R is going to use a 4 right tumbler. Station 9L is going to use a 5 left tumbler. Station 10R is going to use a 5 right tumbler. All right, one of the first parts of the assembly process on the new Ford Ignition for the F-Series truck is taking apart a pre-assembly. Now what we do at our facilities is we actually have this actuator, an actuator retainer pre-assembled to keep it together and so we don't have to put it in a bag. So I'm going to take that uh, retainer off and I'm going to take that actuator out and what we want to do is to lubricate where that actuator goes into the actuator pocket. So I'm just going to take just a slight amount of grease and one of the reasons we don't do this down there is because just to keep it from you know the grease from going into everything else. So we're just going to put a little bit of grease down in that pocket on that lip. You put the actuator back on. It's a little cupped pocket and then we're going to snap that um, actuator retainer back on and again this plastic piece just falls in and then it allows that actuator to flip back and forth you can see I've got a little grease on there to actuate a little bit better in that pocket so that's the first step that you have with the um, the cylinder itself The next step will be um, pinning the lock. And again, like I had said at the, the start, this is a 10 cut system for the Ford F series. And it requires use of all 10 um, positions in the cylinder. So I'm gonna start with the um, left side. So I'm gonna orientate the lock vertically that way to um, rotate it around and actually see the left side uh, 
tumbler wards. Okay, I'm holding it vertically like this, and as you'll see, I have the um, the spring holes to the left, and I'm going to start by um, greasing the cylinder, and then I'm going to add the um, springs in for each of the tumblers, and then I'm going to insert the tumblers. So I'm going to start by greasing um, each of the pockets slightly, and like I said, just a little bit of grease in each of this, the um, tumbler wards, and a little bit in the spring hull itself. All right, so I'm going to insert the tumbler springs now that we've uh, got the grease in the tumbler wards and, and the spring holes. And I'm going to insert all the tumblers. So essentially, just put them right into the grease there that you've put inside. So they hold in there nice. They won't fall out as you pin. And again, there's five lefts. And we're going to start in what we call stations. And this is station um, one left down here, essentially, which is going to utilize a number four tumbler. And I've laid these out. So in terms of what you'll use for tumblers in pinning the ignition up, you're going to use on the left-hand side one of the two left tumblers, one of the three left tumbler, two of the four left-hand tumblers, and one of the five left tumblers. So I'm going to start with the, the bottom station here, which is a four left. And we're going to put that in. And then the next one is another four left. And what we're using here for a cut key and a code is an engineering code. Um, so this is something that wouldn't be in a production vehicle. The next station is used, utilizing a two left tumbler. And then beyond that, we're going for a three left. And then the last tumbler used on this side is a five left. And again, it always does you good to get yourself organized. What I'm going to do now, I have the tumblers in, is I'm going to take the cut key and everything goes right, these tumblers will go flush when I insert the key. And so that now you'll see is drop the keys or the tumblers flush with the cuts on the key. So that is what you want to see. You want to see your tumbler sticking up. So that's now completed for the left side of the cylinder. We'll have to take the key out. So remember these aren't snap-in tumblers. We have to hold them in place when we flip it over because, again, they're not going to retain in there. And we'll have to do the other side, which I will grease the other side uh, to do the right side tumblers and tumbler springs. So I'm just going to quick get some grease in there in each ward. And then we'll insert the tumbler springs. there all right we got them in and we're going to start on the bottom in terms of pinning the right side of the ignition you're going to use one of the two right hand tumblers two of the four right hand tumblers and two of the five right hand tumblers and we're going to insert, so station two right will be um, essentially utilizing a five right hand tumbler, which we've laid out here. And then the next one will be a two right hand tumbler. And then we go to a four right. And then 
another four right. And the last one is a five right tumbler. And so I'm actually holding on to the back. If you can kind of see this, just to make sure these other tumblers don't come out. I'm going to depress both sides now. I'm going to insert the key so that uh, I'm holding these down while I insert the key. And now when you look at this, you have them flush on the right hand side and they're flush on the left hand side. So that is now um, completely pinned up. Alright, so the next step of the process is you're going to take the pin cylinder and you want to grease that so that it, as it's rotating inside the, the case you have some lubrication. So I'm going to take, I'm going to add just a little bit of grease externally here and rub it around the outside, just densely put a little grease on there and then I insert it into the cylinder. Okay, there's some features in there that you'll see as you insert it, it will almost lock into a certain position whereby you look down in there and the cap has this post feature that will actually go down inside. So what I want to do is pull the key out. So I'm holding onto the cylinder down below. I'm holding tight against the the case, I pulled the key out, okay, and then what we have to do is we have to insert that cap. And like I said, with this feature, it goes right down into the top of that cylinder. So I'm just going to put it down in there, and I'm going to use the um, key, I'm gonna insert the key. It's going to push on the actuator, so you're going to see it driving up that cap so it's flush with the case where it should be. All right. And the next thing you got to do, and it's a little bit tricky, is you align this retaining ring in the proper slots. Small end, small end here, larger end or width wise here. Okay, on that retaining ring, you got two different sizes. Um, you're going to start with a small notched end in the, the smaller width hole, insert it down in there, and again, that key, you're going to want it in the off position, okay? And it's kind of a little bit of a trick. The cap is now flush, the key is turned to a certain position. You're going to, like I said, insert that retaining ring down in that slot. You're going to put some pressure on that retaining ring and it's going to snap into position. You're going to kind of roll it and it's going to click into position, not real flush. Again, this one I've used a couple times, it might have sprung a little bit, but essentially now that retaining ring is holding that and again you kind of, kind of push it in there and as flush as it goes and now it holds it in position to be able to get the key out on and off position locked unlocked and again you see that that retaining ring is down in position there and it's holding the cap in place and that cylinder and cap are retained for that retaining ring and again that's how we get the final assembly on the new 2015 f-series ignition